So we just arrived at our apartment, the Haven Lofts. This is where it's located, on the park here in Saigon. There's plenty of restaurants around. You come up this alleyway here. There's a nice little drink stall here where you can get Coke, iced coffee, tea, whatever you like. Really handy considering the door to the apartment is just in here. They give you a key to get in and then you can go up to your apartment. This is the reception area where they'll meet you during check-in. Here's your elevator. Okay guys, so we just checked into our apartment here in Ho Chi Minh City in District 1. It's called the Haven Lofts Apartment. It's a little apartment but it's nice. There's TV, fan, aircon up there. You've got an outside balcony. Uh, they don't show you the view when you book it on booking.com because the view is just straight to your next door neighbour. But other than that, it's quite good. If I get up here, I've got bowls, cups, water jug, kettle, got a little hot plate over there if you want to do some cooking. Microwave tucked away here in the door. Open this, there's a few cooking utensils in here, so sort of self-sufficient if you want to go and buy food and cook. We have a little fridge with an ice section in it now. I really like fridges that have ice sections in them because it's nothing like a scotch and coke or something like that with ice. So got the Wi-Fi displayed pretty well here. So then we go into the bathroom, toilet, shower, basin, plenty of towels, all you could need. Got a nice little couch down here that Beck's relaxing on. Outside, like I said, we've got our little tables and chairs. Air conditioner cooled this place down really quickly. So why it's called the loft is because your bedroom is upstairs. So we'll go up these stairs here. So we've just stocked our suitcases up here. We've got a bed, a wardrobe, there's a little window up there, mirror. So really everything that you could need for a small apartment. The girls have got an apartment next door that's exactly the same. Actually, I don't think theirs has got a window. So we opted for the deluxe version with the window. So and it's like a thing on the window. Like a, it's like a screen. Yeah, yeah, like a screen sort of wallpaper thing on their window. Actually, we'll go and have a look. Let's go and have a look at the other room. Well, I might want to knock first. Okay. Let's have a look. Can we get out of here? I'm not quite sure. There we go. You'll have to let me back in because I don't have the key. Okay, I'll just leave the key open. Hello, Wild Family Travel YouTube is calling. Wild Family Travel YouTube is coming to have a look at your room. Hello. Okay, pretty much the same as ours, except they have this pretty wall picture. So it doesn't actually seem to have been a window here. There was some sort of like grate down there, so you can't get out there. It's all locked. So what they've done is they've painted a picture instead. But pretty much the same as ours. They've got a newer TV than us. But loft as well. So everything you need. Girls have been here a few seconds, made a mess already. So we will head back out here to our apartment over the road. So with our teenagers these days, we certainly can't stay in the same room as them. So apartments like this, same floor, they're the only two on this floor is ideal. It's a little elevator to bring you up and back into our apartment. So that's the Haven Lofts in Saigon in District 1. Up here on the fourth floor of the Haven Lofts, or above the fourth floor, you've got to walk up a bit further is a washer and dryer. Now this sort of thing is really convenient for families who are traveling because you can wash your clothes, get them fresh and you'll need that in Saigon because it is hot and sweaty. Up this way is a little loft balcony that you can come out and sit on or you can slam the door like I did. So it has three or four seats. Good view of the city.
That'd be a nice place to come for a drink in the evening. Inside there's even a little area for the kids where they can sit up there on their bean bags, read books and such. So guys, our time at the Haven Lofts is coming to an end. We've been here for six nights, really enjoyed our stay. Uh, there's lots of restaurants really close to eat at. Just down out the front door is a drink stand where you can get coffees, coke, tea, you name it. The people are really friendly down there. One thing I will say is that the owner here sends you a WhatsApp group that you can be in all about your apartment where you can ask them any questions. They'll tell you anything you need to know. We were lucky because one of our daughters was sick, so... We had to actually go to a doctor and find a chemist. All I did was message the owner in the WhatsApp group and he told me straight away where to take her, what chemist to go to, and uh, so it was fantastic. So really good service there, I must say. Uh, so I really enjoyed this place and we'll certainly be back here if we come back to Ho Chi Minh City again. It was well worth the stay.